Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. I'm here today to chat a little, to talk about what's new, and to talk about some old products of mine that really make me happy. I do want to say Jim and I are fine. We are both staying in the house and, um, and not going out and about. We are prudent, but we're not panicked at all. This is the first time both of us have thought of ourselves as the older generation. And I am in good health and Jim does have some underlying conditions, so I wanna be especially careful and so does he. Any of you who have watched me for a while uh, won't be surprised that I always keep backups, not only of my skincare and some of my favorite makeup products, but for the kitchen and for the bathroom, I've just always been that way. Before I open my last thing of laundry detergent, my backup is here. I realize that a lot of people are going through things that I have no idea about. I do pray for our country, for our nation, but with me, for me, as long as I have God, it is all good. And one of the first things we learned in nursing school many, many years ago, the best way to not spread an infection is to wash your hands, and, and that still applies. I really wasn't sure if I was gonna upload a video for this week, and I was just thinking about all the things that make me happy. And most of the things that make me happy aren't tangible, but I just wanna share with you some, some makeup that I've had, and a lot of this you can't buy. So many times I come to you, like today, I have on mascara, navy eyeliner in my upper water lines, lipstick, and clear brow gel. I don't have any other makeup on, just skincare. And this is how I do it a lot. I, I probably wear a full face of makeup, well, what I call a full face of makeup, probably three or four times a week. I want to mention a couple of weeks ago, I filmed a video and I don't know if it will be up or if it won't be yet, but it's for the It Cosmetics Today Special Value. And I also uh, reviewed the Blendiful, Tati's Blendiful. So if it's been posted, I'll put it up here. And if it's if it hasn't been, just watch out for it. I know it will upload before March 30th, but I never know for sure if they're gonna have a pre-sale or not. So I just kind of wanted to mention that. Until probably about eight years ago, I never owned a brow product. I would spray hairspray on a brow brush, and that's what I did for my brows. Well, I found this probably eight years ago. It was before I knew YouTube uh, videos existed. And this came from Urban Decay, and I still have it. And it is brow powder. I even still have the brush. But there it is. It makes me happy because it was perfect. It has, I, I don't use it. I, I would if I needed to, but it has, it has wax here. I wouldn't use the wax. But if I needed to use a powder, I would. But it even came with a little brush. I still have the brush and it just makes me happy and I will probably not ever throw this away. So you seldom see me when I am dressed up, going someplace, especially if I'm going out at night. You, you don't see me. So there are some of the products that I have here that I use when I kind of get more glammed up. This probably makes me happier than any. Again, before YouTube, there was something that came out from Bare Minerals called the Phenomenon. And it was supposed to make your iris of your eyes stand out more than any other eyeshadows. And I just couldn't wait to get them, and I finally did. And I'm, I've got the little sponge applicator. And those are the colors. And I they're shimmery. They look fabulous on the lid, and I've used them a lot. And I know I've shared with you in the past that I always, I don't take, when I do my brush or sponge, I go around the sides because my I don't like to hit pan. I really don't. Something I do, and it's not necessary, but I'm real particular around the eyes with anything that I use around my eyes. So whenever I'm using a brush, I just have this little tiny thing. And any of my eye brushes that I use go in there and then when I leave my dressing room and go in the bathroom, I take them with me and I wash them. That's maybe why I don't wear eyeshadow all the time because I don't, <laughs> but it's never a problem because they're so easy to clean if I clean them every day. And I don't, I don't use that many brushes. I saw this duo on Amazon and it was just like ridiculous. 
ridiculous. I think I had it in my Amazon store and took it out because it was just like super, super expensive. But I looked for about a year before I found this and I'm glad I did. I love the o Becca Opal. I liked it so much that when I saw that there was a mini size and that makes me happy when there's minis. There was a duo and at the time I bought it, it was $25, I think. And it's for a kind of a liquid blush and then the mini opal. And this looks so pretty on your cheekbones. I'm not very good at swatching, but this is what it looks like. And then when you sheer it out, it just has a really pretty glimmer, really kind of a shimmer, but it's not chunky and it doesn't accentuate any fine lines, but um, this makes me happy and it makes me happy when they make minis. I have some full-size hourglass blushes that you know I like. Well, something I love about hourglass, you can buy minis and this is the mini and it is in diffused heat and it is a beautiful blush. I like that. And again, you don't see me in these. I love it when companies make minis. It makes me happy. I love Tarte blushes and I bought this beautiful palette from Tarte probably a couple of years ago. And what I like about it, well, number one, I think Tarte makes great blushes, but I loved the shades and sometimes you know, you always see me in cooler colors, but sometimes I wear something that I need to pull in just a little bit of warm. I will run my brush over all of them and, and shake it off and put them on my cheeks. And, and I just think it's beautiful. And I've used it a ton and it still has the imprints on it. A dear friend bought me the Fairy Dust and it doesn't look like it would do anything, but it is gorgeous. I've worn it down. I don't want to hit pan, but I may. I'll keep using it. You can't get too much of it, and it doesn't even look like it would do many do much, but it does a lot, and I love it, and it makes me happy. Just look at, I know you can't buy these, but just look at all those little shimmers in there. This eyeshadow I purchased, well, before I went cruelty-free. It was probably six years ago, and it's from Elizabeth Arden, and the shade is called Rain. And for me, it is a perfect shade of gray. And I use that a lot at night. Don't really do very many day looks with it, but I just love it and I think it's beautiful and it makes me happy. Now the balm eyeshadows always make me happy. I used to have some of the balm, the balm, I'll type it up here. I used to have some of their blushes and they were wonderful. My understanding, you can either order from the balm's website or Kohl's. If you go in a Kohl's, they cover, they carry the balm, but they're just cute packaging. And just look at these eyeshadows. So anything from the balm makes me happy. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is one lipstick. And it's this lipstick right here from Hourglass. And I bought it a couple of years ago. I have it on today. This is called If Only. I like it so much. I have a backup and I have another shade. It, they come like this. You buy the refills and this is my icon is and I'll it is a beautiful blue red and and I like to have reds that have some blue. Orange isn't my color at all. So I just love to carry this in my handbag. I like putting it on. It it's just lovely. It really is and it makes me happy. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And everything I purchased except for one thing. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you why I purchased what I purchased. I watched a video from Emily Noel. And I watched all of Emily Noel's videos. And she did an excellent video on magnetic eyelashes. I'll either put a playlist or I'll put a link in below of the false eyelash videos I've done. I've worn false eyelashes one time and I did it on camera, put them on on camera, couldn't stand the way they felt. And then I bought some magnetic eyelashes that kind of clamped and I did a demonstration. I really like those. I lost a couple of them. So when Emily did the video on magnetic lashes, I knew I wanted to order some of the magnetic, mag blah, blah, blah. I knew I wanted to order some of the, the magnetic eyeliner. So I ordered myself some and I ordered you guys. I ordered two for two of my winners. But I'm going to show you what I did with mine. This is how they come packaged. 
and I cut mine in two. I saved the smaller side. You see, I cut a longer piece and a small piece, and I had to cut it right next to the magnet because it really bothered me in here. So what I've done, when I put on the eyeliner, I just put it from like here over and use this shorter strip right here. And they are very comfortable that way. I think maybe my eyes are just, I mean, I guess I'm just not used to anything on my eyelashes except for mascara. I've got two of these in my giveaway. And then I have two boxes of three of the Buxom Lip Gloss. And I'll show you the size. I love Buxom Lip Gloss. They're that size. These I got when I subscribed to FabFitFun. They're the Wonder Beauty, the eye patches, the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I've heard nothing but good things, but I don't want to start using masks. That's just something else that I'll think I need to buy, but I'm going to give them to you. And then when Lisa J sent me the brushes, she sent me two of her sponges, and I don't use beauty sponges. So each person is going to get eyelashes, a beauty sponge, two Baggage Claim eye masks, and the false eyelashes. Emily did such a great job demonstrating on how to use these. I'm going to link her video below. She, she did a fabulous job. So I thought, why should I even try? As always, this is an international giveaway. Since it is a giveaway, I cannot reply to the comments. But you know if you go to any video, even if it says I can't, if it's at least a week old, I can get back to you quickly. To be in the giveaway, you just have to be 18 years old or older. Be subscribed to my channel before this video goes live. This giveaway will close in three days, as usual, so my subscribers can actually be the winners. And all I need to know, if you want to enter, is in the comments section, just tell me something that makes you thankful. And hopefully the other viewers will be able to read what you are thankful for and uh, we'll be able to help each other along the way. It is all good. It is. Even in these trying times, it is all good. You all take care, be careful, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bathroom. I have a, I have a, and I wear it for me. Jim is the first person. It's, it's,